Time, late evening, Friday, January 31st, 1958, in a blockhouse at Canapley. The countdown to Explorer One. Okay, we'll start now. Any fuel loading? Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Fire command, fire command. command. The missile is in flight, but the success of its mission is still in doubt. It will take another hour and a half to know whether the satellite is in orbit, the most tense and harrowing wait of all. In Washington, at the National Academy of Science, a scientific Earth satellite was placed in orbit at five seconds after 10.55 p.m. Just one more came the inevitable plea from the photographers, and exhausted as they were, the trio obliged with what was to be the page one spread in newspapers all over the world. In plain language, the United States was in the space business along with the Russians, and Explorer One was the beginning. I really believe that Explorer 1 was the first uh, landmark of space exploration because although it followed Sputnik, Explorer 1 had science instruments on it. And so it was really marks the first use of space for scientific exploration. The success of Explorer and what we learned from it really does kind of recreate in the, in the most fundamental way the nature of the, of the jet propulsion lab and moving it from a rocket development center to one in which space science becomes what it really does. It really put JPL on the map scientifically. We did it. And that's, that's how we felt. We did it. And um, you, uh, you look back on that time, and, and uh, I, I, I remember telling my wife, I said, uh, uh, this is almost like having the birth of the boys. And she says, well, how come? And I says, well, we actually worked harder on this. <laughs> so, but it, it, it was a, a moment of exaltation. And, uh, you know, uh, uh, trying to put into words feelings such as that is very difficult. They're, they're, but we knew that we had done something, and we had done something that was the start of, of a whole new age. We knew that we were at the beginning. Today, a new moon is in the sky, a 23-inch metal sphere placed in orbit by a Russian rocket. 500 miles up, the artificial moon is boosted to a speed counterbalancing the pull of gravity and released. You are hearing the actual signals transmitted by the Earth-circling satellite. One of the great scientific feats of the age. Here are official Defense Department films of the launching of the 72-foot missile, a loss of thrust, and fall back to Earth in split seconds. Classified. 
Neither the satellite program nor our missile development is affected, said Acting Defense Secretary Quarles. It's only an incident in the perfection of the Vanguard satellite system. NASA's crawler transporters on the move for 42 years. January marks the 42nd anniversary 